More than 1,000 Qassam rockets have been launched on Sderot just this year, and now the Israeli government is out to look for new protective devices. This is actually a radar that identifies the rocket, homes in on it, and destroys it using a laser beam. Simple, but expensive. It costs hundreds of millions of dollars, and it would take a year or more to develop. Five years have gone by since the SkyGuard system was tested in the U.S., but still no progress. But before saying quits, we should know that there are other systems being tested. But the rockets keep coming from Gaza, and the IDF lacks an offensive solution. Defense Minister Amir Peretz dismissed accusations, blaming him for the failures. He also said that there hasn't been one plan that was put on his desk lately that he hasn't authorized. On Sunday night, Peretz held meetings with his officers concerning the attacks on the Negev, and their recommendations were not surprising and were to have more protections, more bomb shelters, and to immediately build an alert system in the city of Ashkelon.